So the limit as x approaches 0 and then sine 3x over 5x to the power 3 minus 4x. An interesting one, right? So feel free to pause the video and try this one out. Alright, so looking at what we have, we can just factorize this and make it match with whatever we have on top. So we have to be a bit smart about it. So th there are two ways you can approach this question. There's what we call optical rule. So there is a video where I'm just going to give you more out examples about optical rule, and I also show you how to answer this one using optical rule. But before I answer it using that form, <laughs> let's try to look at what we have. So let's try something interesting. Now we know for this to make this easy, we can have three x on the bottom. So let's multiply the top part and the denominator with three x. And then on our next step, the limit as x approaches zero, we can have sine three x, and then we get that three x there comes here, right? And then the three x will remain on top, and then this can come down there. So we've just swapped what's on the bottom. That goes there, that one comes here. Cool, right? Okay. So we know that we can fact out the f an x from that other side. Okay. So let's di distribute the limit. The limit as x approaches 0, sine 3x over 3x. And then the limit as x approaches 0 for the other part. So we have 3 over. So we fucked out that an x there. So on the denominator part, you know that you fucked out x, you're going to have 5x uh, squared minus 4, right? And then on top, you've got 3x. So the x can divide. So you have 3 over 5x squared minus 4 remaining. So at this point, you know this is equal to 1. And then you can distribute the, and x is equal to 0 for that other part. So it means where there is x, we are going to put a 0. So that part will disappear. So what remains is what? So you have 1 multiplied by the top part 3 over negative 4. So which is just what we got negative 3 over 4 as our answer. Okay. So you can also answer this question using Optos rule. Optos rule tells us that if you have the limit of any function, if you have the limit of a function f of x, I don't know x approaching whatever you have, and then g of x. What this means is the answer is equal to the limit as even if you differentiate both functions it's still the same. That's what Optos root tell us. So if that's the, the case, since we know we can't simplify this directory, let's try to differentiate whatever we have. So <coughs> I've already shown you how to go about differential calculus. So how do you differentiate sine 3x? So sine 3x, derivative of sine 3x. Derivative of sine is cosine. Now you have to multiply by the derivative of whatever is attached to a function. So the derivative of 3x is 3. So that's the answer for the top part. So therefore, this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0. For the top part, you have 3 cosine 3x. And then over, differentiate whatever you have on the bottom. So you're going to have 15x squared minus 4. So that is according to Optor's rule. We've dif just differentiated the top part and the denominator. Let's try to substitute now 0. So we have the limit as x approaches 0. So we have 3 cosine 3 multiplied by 0 over 15, 0 squared minus 4. So cosine of 0, you know 3 times 0 is 0. So cosine of 0, if you know your identity, if you know your function, trick functions, this is a cosine function. So it starts at that point. So cosine of 0 is 1. So therefore, you have. 3 multiplied by 1 on top 
and then the denominator you have this part is just equal to a zero so we have over negative four so which also is equal to negative three over four so whether you use octo's rule use the same normal of approaching the questions you still get to the same answer